Right, and hello folks and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a variation of the two hook Portsmouth loop rig um, which encompasses a pulley system in the rig which enables you to uh, cut the snoods off, replace the snoods as and when you wish. It's an absolutely great rig, I've used it targeting flats uh, for quite a while now and it's pretty much my go-to rig um, for targeting smaller species now. So I'm going to show you how to make it, we're going to run through it and uh, hopefully you'll be able to learn something from it and get on and make it yourself. So let's do it. Right now folks, as I said previously, when I first learned how to tie the Portsmouth flute rig, um, it was hard work, I won't lie to you. Um, crimping and doing other bits and pieces. Uh, this way of doing it will eliminate the use of crimps uh, and will run you through the components you're going to need to tie this rig as follows. So we're going to need a shock leader. Um, I use this Gardner Slinky 80 pound shock leader. It's probably the best shock leader i found. Um, it's just great for tying knots and I just really like using it. So that is my go-to one at the moment. If you have any other suggestions, you know, let me know in the comments below what you use. I'm going to use the good old amnesia for the hook link then. Uh, I'm going to use a 25 pound in a black colour just so it shows up on the camera a bit better. We've got three swivels there. One cascade swivel which is there. Uh, four beads. Two hooks. I'm going to use size two hooks. And we're going to use one leg clip there. Right, so the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to take our shock leading material here. And we're going to cut off. round about a meter of shock link a thousand millimeters if you are that way inclined i i like to work in millimeters it's just the way i work so there's my two ends of the shock leader i'm going to take our scissors and just cut a triangle at the top just to aid us helping passing bits and pieces through and i'm going to flip it around and start off at the bottom end so on the bottom end i'm going to take one of my swivels I'm just going to tie that onto the bottom end. Now, for the video purposes, I'm just going to use a blood knot, just because it's nice, quick, and simple. But you can use any knot that you desire. So, I'm just going to take the line, pass it through the eye, wrap it around one, two, three, four, and then back through the small eye nearest to the swivel of the line. Give it a nice moisten. <coughs> Grab your knot puller. And then we're just going to pull that nice and slowly down just so that singes the knot down there. And take the scissors and cut the tag. And there we have the first component on, which is a swivel at one end of the rig. I'm going to take the top end and I'm going to do the following. I'm going to pass a bead down the line like that. Just let it go down to the bottom. I'm then going to take my leg clip, which is there, I'm going to pass that through as well. Then I'm going to take another bead and pass it on. And that is where our weight will sit on the line there. What we're going to do now is we're going to throw. Another bead on. A swivel. And a bead. And that will act as our pulley. Pulley system which is there. And then on the other end we're just going to tie a swivel on again. So it's really simple to make. This rig is so simple to make and I'm so glad I found this rig because it, it enables me to still use a Portsmouth flute rig without the hassle of crimping. And I can just make these really quickly, really simply. They're really easy to make. And if I get into trouble on the beach, instead of throwing the whole rig away because I can't place where the, the hooks go, on the cascade swivels, I can just simply cut off the snood or cut off the hook and just tie another hook on and it will clip up and it's absolutely ready to go. There we go. So that is the first part of the rig, making the main body. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the end that has the swivel and bead set up closest to the top. So you've got the swivel at the top, bead, swivel, bead. That's the end you want to be now. 
what we're going to do is we're going to tie a short hook link onto this end. So, we're going to grab our amnesia hook link, we're going to measure out 400 millimeters. Um, or just over 400 millimeters, just so you've got enough to play with. And we're going to cut that line. And we're going to attach that onto the top swivel right at the top of the rig. that nice and tight nice neat knot again cut the tag end off and there we have our hook link we're going to take the first hook we're going to place the line through the eye of the hook and again we're going to tie the same knot one two three four again these knots are based at people that are just starting the fishing don't want to do anything too complicated just want to get some decent rigs out there to catch some fish and there's my hook on there and all we're going to do now is we're going to cut the tag end off of that as well i like to leave a slightly longer tag on my hooks just to start access just as a little bait stop in the bait there that's my own personal preference but i mean if you want to cut it down you know, right down to the to the knot you can there we go so that's our first part of the rig made what we're going to do now is we're going to flip the rig over we're going to go to the bottom end which is here so that's where your leg clip bead and swivel are at that end and we're going to make the second part which is going to be the portsmouth flute part right in fact so this is the fun part so now we're going to make the loop of the rig. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our hook link and we're going to measure out. I like to do a quite quite a large loop. So I'm going to measure out about, about 850 millimeters, which is there. I'm just going to cut that off. And I'm going to tie that onto the eye of the swivel at the top of the rig body and there we go that's all tied up there again cut the tag off like so and we're going to go to this part of the hook link. Now we're going to attach our cascade swivel. And we want to attach the cascade swivel to the top part, which is here, which is the more bulbous part at the top, the wider part. So that hook link goes straight in. And again, the same knot. Pull that nice and tight and form it down, and then that's on there like that. I say it's not rocket science, as long as you know how to tie a blood knot, you are ready to go. Right, so all we need to do now is add a short hook link bit of material onto there with our hook. I'm just going to add 300 millimeters for the short piece of hook link. Again, tying that on with the blood knot. So 
So we're cutting off the tag end there. And that leaves our cascade swivel tied up. Right, so now we've tied our cascade swivel on, the last thing to do is just to tie our last hook onto the hook link here. Again, one, two, three, four. I'm just going to use the eye of the weight just to pull the nut down. When you're pulling the nuts down, I like to do them slowly just so they have time to form up. And don't mess up your line. Right, so that is the rig pretty much complete. So there we go. It's quite a long rig in all its entirety. entirety. So there it is. It's all there. Ooh. It's all there. It's all there. It's all there. There we go. So it looks like a tangled mess at the minute, but what I'm going to show you is how it works now. And we're going to clip it all up and show you how it does what it does. It's a it's a great rig, guys. It's an absolutely awesome rig. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try and find myself a grip lead. Aha, which is here. So what we're going to do is we're going to clip the lead onto the lead clip at the bottom. This bit here, this, this free running swivel on the line will clip to your main rig body. So that'll be up like that. It's a little bit difficult to do sitting down. It's easier to do when it's on the tripod. I'll, show, I'll still show you on the, on the film. So the bottom hook there clips onto the lead like so. And we're going to run that up. The top hook, which is here, will then clip onto the cascade swivel, which is there, like that. And then you shall clip that onto your main line from your rod. And there you have your Portsmouth loop pulley rig. The pulley works on the top, the swivel there. So it still acts like a pulley rig. Your first hook is clipped into the cascade swivel there. You've got a lovely big loop there. And then you've got your last hook clipped down into the lead there. I like to use Trident Rotos. Um, or you can use any other kind of leg, uh, hook clipping system. But there we go. So there you have it, guys. There is the rig I've been using for absolutely ages. I've been trying to make a video on it for absolutely, absolutely ages. And I'm really sorry it's taken so long to get it out. Um, but there you go. There is the version of the Portsmouth Loop Rig that I use. Absolutely fantastic rig. Once it once it hits the water, bam, off come your snoods. You're then fishing a smaller snood at the top, which is there, which is which is a running snood. There we go. And then you have this absolutely lovely long snood, which is there, which is presented all the way away from the lead, which is there. So there we have it, guys. There is... The Portsmouth, Portsmouth Pulley Running Ledger, whatever you call it, rig. It works, it catches fish. Go make it now and have some fun. Happy fishing. Cheers.